Hello everybody, it's lovely to be with you again on this Friday morning. I hope you've had a good week and uh, let's hope we can persevere into the days and weeks that lie ahead. We've been looking at some foundational texts, foundational texts for me, uh, verses that I have found particularly helpful and strengthening in my own journey and walk as a Christian. Uh, I guess sooner or later, one has to come to that great Psalm of the Old Testament, the 23rd Psalm, written by probably one of the great poets of history, and that is David. We think of David as the shepherd, we think of David as the great military figure, the great king. Perhaps seldom do we think of him as a poet. He, he writes all these wonderful psalms, but he was a brilliant, brilliant poet. And in the 23rd Psalm, he takes this image of the shepherd that he knew very well, intimately, from having been a shepherd boy himself, and imagines God in similar terms only to a, a much greater and uh, infinite degree. And in Psalm 23, we read these words, the Lord is my shepherd. Now, a couple of Sundays ago, I was speaking about Middle C, Lloyd C. Douglas's um, answer from that old musician who he used to greet when he, Douglas, was a, a, a student. What is the good news, he kept asking. The good news, said the musician, taking that tuning fork, is that this is middle C, ding. That is middle C, it was middle C yesterday, it's middle C today and it will be middle C tomorrow and for a thousand years to come. And that is the good news. And when we come to those five verses with which Psalm 23 begins, the Lord is my shepherd, that can be a middle C. It was true yesterday. It was true and is true today. And it will be true tomorrow and for a thousand years to come. That at the heart of all things lies a God who loves us, whose hand is upon us. It's very different to what you hear from that atheistic professor, the recently retired Richard Dawkins, who looking at this world says, there is no design, there is no purpose, there's no good, there is no evil, nothing but blind, pitiless indifference. And a lot of people buy into that. Nothing but blind, pitiless indifference. And in contrast to that, David's words have rung down the centuries. The Lord is my shepherd. No indifference with God. We don't understand always what he's doing, but by faith we reach out and know that we are significant, that God's hand is upon us. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and he leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In uncertain times, that is a foundational text, surely. God be with you and watch over you.